the main thing that surprised me was that at the beginning of the program, certainly a lot of the ascetic disciplines seem really challenging and think you, you think that they're going to be really hard. But what I found so surprising was that as I started and each day that went by, it got easier and easier to follow the disciplines and frankly, sometimes be excited to do them because what it allowed you to do was gain something that you never had before and didn't even know that it existed. When I did Exodus 90, each day that went by allowed me to understand and rid myself of worldly things that allowed me to focus on God. And in that focus on God, that is how we were supposed to live. And so what God reveals through Exodus 90, through these disciplines, you are able to understand how God created us to live. God didn't create us to live by consuming technology, entertainment, and all these worldly things. He created us to love. And the only way to love is to be attentive to your surroundings, to be present, to not try to disengage from the world and, and where you are. Um, and so in that, I was able to gain a freedom, gain a harmony, and gain a peace that I didn't know existed. And it has since allowed me to change my ways, to increase in virtue, and to set my eyes on something greater than I ever, ever knew existed. And so for those of you who are believe in God, who are believers, but sometimes just may not feel like you have the answers or maybe the roadmap, um, Exodus 90 is a roadmap. Exodus 90 is a roadmap to freedom through Christ, to a freedom that can only be achieved through Christ. So I implore you, if you're a man that is asking yourself, how can I be a better man? How can I be a better husband? How can I be a better father, a son, friend? How can I increase in virtue? And how can I become more like Christ? Then I implore you to check out Exodus 90. I promise you, you will not regret it, and I promise you that it will change your life.